you can now begin the Committee of the Whole meeting. Uh, good afternoon. The Committee of the Whole is now called to order pursuant to Rule 2.30 of the Rules of the City Council. In the Committee of the Whole, a simple majority is required to pass any item. Today, the Committee of the Whole will consider and vote on the following items. Introduction 1854 would make changes to the existing downtown Flushing Transit Hub bid in Councilmember Peter Coos district. The bid is requesting that the council approve the following changes to the district plan. First, extending existing bid boundaries. Second, expanding services to include beautification as well as traffic management and pedestrian safety and authorizing streetscape improvements to complement these services. And third, increasing the bid annual assessment from $380,000 to $1 million, funded by the expansion to new properties and by changes in the method of assessment authorized to be calculated on a formula applicable to the class of the property. The City Council has provided all required process under the administrative code. This included a public hearing with testimony from the administration and the bids district management association and waiting the 30 day period for property owners affected by the proposed changes to formally object. Small business services attested that no property owners filed a valid objection with the city clerk. Council members may now vote in favor of intro 1854 if they can answer the following four questions in the affirmative. First, were all notices of hearing for all hearings required to be held, published and mailed as so required by law and otherwise sufficient? Second, does all the real property within the district's boundaries benefit from the establishment or expansion of the district except as otherwise provided by law? Third, is all real property benefited by the district included within the district? And lastly, is the establishment or expansion of the district in the best interest of the public? All council members have been sent a committee report with details about the proposed bid changes and the process that has taken place thus far. Based on the testimony we heard in support of this action, the written testimony we have received for today's hearing and the support of Councilmember Peter Koo, in whose district the bid is located, the council may proceed with a vote on introduction 1854. In addition, the council will be voting on the following land use items in Article 11 property tax exemptions. 1898 Harrison Avenue in Councilmember Cabrera's district would receive a full 40 year Article 11 exemption to preserve 54 units of affordable rental housing. Grace Senior Housing in Council Berlantzman's district would receive a full 40 year Article 11 exemption to preserve 80 units of affordable senior rental housing. HP Morningside Heights portfolio in the districts of council members Levine and Perkins would receive a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 502 units of affordable rental housing. Turin House in Councilman Rosenthal's district would receive a full 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 189 units of affordable home ownership. Schreiber in Councilman Perkins's district would receive a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 182 units of affordable rental housing. 757 East 169th Street in Chair Salamanca's district would receive a full 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 24 units of affordable home ownership. Howard Amron House in Councilmember Kalos's district would receive a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 11 units of affordable rental housing. Belmont Daniel in Councilmember Rose's district would receive a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to preserve 112 units of affordable rental housing. And the Manhattan Avenue apartments in Councilmember Levine's district would receive a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption 
to preserve 81 units of affordable rental housing. Now on land use actions. 90 Sand Street, a project which would deliver 500 units of housing, many of those units for formerly homeless individuals in Councilmember Levin's district, a rezoning at 364 Avenue of the Americas in Councilmember Chin's district to legalize a gym, Rochester Sud Dam in Councilmember Carnegie and Amphrey Samuels districts, a project which includes 78 affordable home ownership units, an Article 11 tax exemption at 272 East 7th Street in Councilmember Rivera's district for the preservation of 19 units, an extension of a ground lease at River Crossing Complex in Councilmember Ayala's district to preserve 147 units of affordable housing, two minor amendments to projects previously approved by the Council, Cooper Square in Councilmember Rivera's district and 461 Alabama Avenue in Councilmember Barron's district, a change in a restrictive declaration on Gansevoort Street in the council district that I represent. And finally, we will vote to modify two projects and send them to the City Planning Commission for scope determinations. 52nd Street in Councilmember Van Bramer's district and the Grand and Pacific Street rezoning in Majority Leader Cumbo's district. Will the clerk please call the roll for a vote on all of the items that I just listed to the members of the council. Before the clerk calls the roll, a point of parliamentary order. Mr. Speaker, I just wanted all members to know that the materials for all of the items that you've just spoken about were sent by email to the members. So all members have these materials in their email. Thank you, Mr. Parliamentarian. And I ask the clerk to please call the roll in a vote on all of the items just listed. Adams. I vote aye on all. Amprey Samuel. Aye on all. Ayala. I vote aye. Barron. Permission to explain my vote. Yeah, but I think, Greg, you, you fixed it. Mr. Speaker, I'm starting now. Mr. Speaker, you can approve permission to explain a vote during Committee of the Whole. And permission is granted, Councilmember Barron. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. your time is starting now, Councilmember Barron. Thank you. I just want to say I vote aye on all. And as regards the project in my district, 461, this is a technical adjustment. The project had been approved previously, and as you all know, it's designed for people who are living within 30, 40, 50 percent, 60 percent of the AMI, and they do again vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. Borelli. I vote aye on all, everyone. Brannon. Aye on all. Cabrera. Aye on all. Chin. Aye on all. Cohen. Aye. Constantinidis. Uh, aye on all. Carnegie. I vote aye on all. Deutsch. And just if I can make a brief uh, mark. Mr. Yes. Speaker. Thank you. Yes. So, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, I'm starting now. Thank you. So uh, before I vote, I just want to um, send my condolences to the families and friends of all those who passed away from COVID-19. And my prayers to all those who are still hospitalized and or are sick at, who, are, who are still sick at home. And I would like to just finally thank all the first responders and all the healthcare workers who are out there and all the members of the council who have been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, on addressing issues pertaining to their constituents. So um, with that, I just want to vote by and all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Deutsch. I know. Diaz. 
Council Member Diaz. Uh, he needs to be unmuted. I see him on the screen. Hold on one second, Councilmember Diaz. They need to unmute you. There are some technical difficulties with unmuting, unmuting Councilmember Diaz right now. Uh, no, no. So there we go. You're unmuted, Councilmember Diaz. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Before I will, I, I want to, Councilor Diaz. I want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And I would like to send my uh, soul, my uh, feedback about the death of my great friend, ex council member Noah Deal. So I would like to join the family and tell them that uh, we're sorry and that we we knew him. He was a great man. Uh, saying that, I'm voting yes. Let's go. Thank you, Councilor Diaz. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Drum. Aye. Eugene. May I explain my vote? Yes, Councilmember Eugene. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to uh, express my, my, my thank and my gratitude to all the first responders. Doctors, nurses, and medical professionals who uh, put their life in danger to save life in New York City at this very uh, difficult moment. And I would like also to express my deepest sympathy to all of those who lo lost or their loved one or their friends. And may God bless them and may, may God be with them and give them the comfort that they need. And I want to extend also my deepest sympathy to the parents of one of my staff members, uh, Emer who also passed due to COVID-19. With that, I put uh, yes and all. Thank you, Councilmember Eugene. Gibson. I vote aye and all. Joe Nye. Aye and all. Gordenchik. Aye and all. Holden. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear I had you. A, yeah. I had my hand raised uh, before the vote. And I wanted to ask a question on uh, intro 1854. When were the um, the, the property owners uh, polled uh, for their uh, approval or disapproval? I, I can't give you the date, but I can tell you that Council Burku supports it. It went through the entire process and small business services attested to us that uh, it went through the proper protocol and process uh, on the normal time frame. Any of these uh, bid uh, projects go through when you are looking at furthering the boundaries. So that is what SBS has told us and attested to. And again, the local council member uh, supports this project. I can't give you the exact dates. I don't know. I, I was just concerned that if it was polled before the pandemic, before the emergency, that maybe some of them would have changed their minds, obviously, because they're closed and they're suffering. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, okay, I vote aye on all, but I would have liked to have... Um, Bob, I want you to know, this is Jason, I just want you to know, we heard from the bid this morning. So that's, that's as up to date as the information that we have. So we did hear this morning. They are supportive. Okay, aye on all. Mr. Thank Speaker, you. before we continue with additional council member votes, council member Yeager has raised his hand and would like to speak about the set of bills that we're voting on as the committee of the whole before the vote continues. Sure, I apologize for not seeing council member Holden or council member Yeager's hand raised. I call on council member Yeager uh, to make remarks about the bills that we're voting on today. Council member Yeager, your two minutes is starting now. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Before my two minutes clock begins, I'd, I'd like to rise for, or, or virtually rise for a point of parliamentary inquiry, if I may, with your permission, since you're chairing this committee. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before the roll was called, the question was called, and it went straight to a roll call, the matter was not open for discussion and debate as required by our rules and by Robert's. Um, we went straight to a roll call, and I, I appreciate that the hands were not seen but uh, in a typical 
uh, setting, we would be able to speak into the mic and say, pardon me, Mr. Chair, uh, I wish to speak. And we were not afforded that opportunity. So I would ask that the, that the roll call be suspended, that the question be open for debate. Yes, I'm happy to do that. We're happy to suspend the roll call and open it up for debate. So if there are members besides you who would like to uh, have a discussion about the bills that we're voting on today, people can raise their hands and we can have that debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And to the extent that members had already voted, uh, they should be permitted to rescind their votes if necessary or to restart the roll from the beginning. Mr. Speaker, the, the, the motion that's in front of us, the question to vote on intro 1854 is uh, with respect to uh, hearings that were held in February of this year uh, and hearings that were held by the community board in 2019, uh, as my colleague stated long before the outbreak. Uh, just to be clear of what it is that we're voting, uh, there are currently 1,100 businesses in this bid. This bill would expand the boundaries of that bid uh, and to encompass an additional 900 new taxpayers. 30 seconds. All of whom, Mr. Speaker, as, as we discussed, this is not explaining a vote. This is a, a debate on the original question. So I would ask that the time be expended accordingly. Um, Mr. Speaker, the, the 900 new businesses that are being added into the bid are now going to receive a tax bill. Many of them are closed. They have been closed for the last several weeks they may never even reopen. Um, my suggestion is instead of voting on this question- Time expired. Today, we have, Mr. Speaker, we have an opportunity to uh, continue uh, the <coughs> question, particular bill by simply uh, postponing its question to a date later as allowed by our rules. <coughs> uh, and in that regard, I would move right now uh, to postpone to a date later uh, specifically uh, to hear this in the first stated of November to give us some time to actually see if the atmosphere is correct and right to impose a new tax on businesses in Queens. Um, and under Rule 9.7 of the Council Rules, uh, this, the, this motion is not debatable, it's not required, <coughs> but it does supersede the debate on the original question and this motion would actually be heard first. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I wanna call on Councilor Peter Koo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Councilmember Koo, your time is starting now. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the bid was formed in 2003. Uh, we still have the original budget of $384,000. When it was formed, the minimum wage was $7 or less. Now the minimum wage is $15. So as you can see, the current budget is not uh, uh, sustainable. That's why the B uh, wants to expand uh, the, uh, the, the area to include more businesses uh, in the consideration. Uh, after this crisis is over, we will need an uh, entity like B to coordinate uh, the, how to revitalize the local businesses. Public-private partnership is really important. Uh, that's why BID is really, really important. Um, so I ask all my colleagues to support this. Uh, they have been doing research and, and uh, for this expansion for the last two years. This is not something that just came out now. And the local businesses will understand the importance of having a collective leadership uh, and, uh, by BID, because BID can uh, help the business to do promotions, uh, to apply for grants, to do all the, all the things that individual, individual business owners cannot do. So I want to thank all my colleagues to support this bill. Please be understandable. This is a good- 30 bill. seconds. And I want to thank Council Member John and I'm all, all my colleagues. This is a very important bill. This is the time to support it, not afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. So we will vote on Council Member uh, Yeager's motion that this be put off. Uh, a yes vote would put this off on us being able to vote on it. A no vote would allow us to vote on the bill today. So I am going to ask the- uh, Mr. Speaker? Yes. Before calling the roll, Council Member Yeager has his hand raised. We already called on Council Member Yeager. Uh, Council Member Yeager, I'm happy to call on you again, but I would like to vote on this motion. 
state on this motion, I'd like to just speak one more time just to clarify some things. Uh, I, I did speak with Councilman Koo this morning and I have an enormous amount of respect for the work he's done with this bid. I, I, again, I want to clarify that this is not uh, in reference to whether or not we like bids, we do. And it's not in reference to whether or not we don't think the bid should needs more money or resources. However, the things that the bid gets the money to do, it is not doing right now. In That's other words, it's not currently having traffic guards, et cetera, and beautification. We, we, we no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You, made, you made your point before. Peter responded. I am calling a vote on your motion, which if you. You, if you vote yes on Councilman Yeager's motion, we will put this vote off. If you vote no on this motion, we will proceed with the vote today. So I'm asking the clerk to uh, suspend the previous roll call vote that we had and to go to a roll call vote Mr. Speaker, you're muted. Someone muted me, I didn't mute myself. Okay, so if you, uh, we're gonna suspend the roll call vote from before, and we're gonna go to a roll call vote on Councilmember Yeager's motion. So I'm gonna ask the clerk to call the roll on Councilmember Yeager's motion. Adam. Councilmember Adams? I voted no. You voted no, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ambry Samuel? No. Ayala? We did have a ticket. No. You can't. You can't um, I'm Barron? To briefly comment. Based on the fact that Jason said, as of today, uh, the comments from the bid were sustaining it, I vote no. Borelli. I vote aye on the motion. Thank you. Brannon. I vote aye. Cabrera. No. Chin. I vote no. Cohen. Uh, can I just briefly explain my vote? Yes. Your time will start uh, now, Councilmember Cohen. Thank you. Uh, uh, I can just not think of anybody better uh, situated under these circumstances uh, to advise this body on whether or not we should proceed with the bid expansion other than my colleague, Peter Koo. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to vote no on the motion. Constantinidis. No. Carnegie. I vote no. Deutsch. Abstain. Diaz. Vote no. Drum. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Your time uh, start now, Council Member. This legislation was heard in my committee twice already, and people had ample time to come in and to participate in the decision-making process. Therefore, I vote no. Eugene. No. Gibson. I vote no. Jonai. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Your time will start now, Council Member. Thank you. I clearly understand the issues in a small business chair. I am concerned for the small businesses uh, and what they're go this crisis that they're going through. I also understand what my colleague raises as a point that this crisis was unforeseen and those small businesses could not uh, voice their opinion at this time before this vote is being heard. What I know is that we start planning so we open New York City back again. Bids are going to be more important than ever to be a voice for those commercial corridors. And after speaking to my colleague that represents the area, as well as the other stakeholders, um, I vote no. Gordenchik. 
Uh, brief permission to explain my vote? Sure. Your time uh, will begin now, Council Member. Thank you. I won't take that long. Uh, I was in on the birth of the original bid um, uh, in 2002 and 2003. There is no community that needs a bid more desperately than downtown Flushing. Um, over 100,000 people a day are at uh, Roosevelt Avenue and Main Street, uh, and they create uh, a lot of activity. Uh, I understand the points taken by my colleague, uh, Councilman Yeager, but I also want to associate myself with uh, the remarks by uh, Councilman Joni, um, in that I believe that the bids in the city will help to lead uh, the small business resurrection when that day, may it come soon, uh, comes that we are able to get out of our houses and our apartments and start to live uh, as New Yorkers have lived for generations. So with that, I vote no on this uh, motion. Holden. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Yes. Your time will start now, Councilmember Holden. Thank you. Uh, again, I'm concerned about just the, it's a different world now. And uh, property owners will pay uh, more taxes in the future, it looks like. And with another bid piled on, I just want, I would like them to weigh in, not before the pandemic, I would like to hear from them now because the world is different, their neighborhood is different and their businesses are different. So uh, for that reason, I vote aye. Talos. King. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Your time uh, will you, start now, Council Member King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Carmen Yeager, uh, Councilman Yeager brings some valid points to the table. Our world has changed as the district is trying to establish bids and understand the importance of bids in our small businesses. If this piece of legislation moves forward, I would recommend also that when this is the small business stimulus package comes down, that bids are li literally get funded to help those businesses that may disappear um, after this pandemic. With that all being said, I will vote. I will vote aye for this. Um, and uh, thank you, Cameron, and thank you, Peter Koo. Koo. Hi, may I explain my vote, Mr. Speaker? Yes. Your council, council member, your time will start now. Thank you, my colleagues. I think this is the most important time is now to overcome our anxiety and panic. Uh, once this crisis is over, we need more on, we need to depend more on BID uh, to support our local businesses. Because BID is an entity that will help promote um, coordinations between government and private uh, uh, entities, and also will promote tourism, promote uh, a lot of things. Uh, individually, indivi uh, all these business owners, because they're new immigrants, they don't know how to do it. They don't have a PR person. They don't have a, a, a public accounting person to help them apply grants. So it's important for us to support BID now because they are operating on a budget 13, I don't know, uh, 17 years ago. The budget is still the same. Now it's not sustainable. Everything, the minimum wage is double. Uh, every, uh, uh, the staff is uh, double. So they don't have enough uh, uh, resources to do it. The only thing they can help the business community is to expand and have more resources. In this, in turn, will help the local businesses. It takes money to make money. So they contribute a little bit of money, but the reward is much greater later. Thank you. I hope all my colleagues will support this. And 30 I seconds. Vote, I vote no on Jaeger's bill. I hope uh, Council Member Jaeger will come visit uh, Fortune downtown before he misses uh, this uh, decision. Yeah. Thank you. Kozlowitz. I absolutely vote no. Lantman. No. Lander. Oh no. Levin. No. <clears throat> Levine. I vote no. Lewis. No. Mizell. No. Menchaca. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, permission to explain? Yes. Time will Thank start you. now, Councilman. Thank you. Uh, I think that um, my my vote was not going to be based on whether or not we need the bid to expand or or to to move forward. But I am compelled by the concept that our world has changed and information that is needed to make a decision like this uh, could be better discussed uh, in current times. So I'm going to support this, and I vote aye. And uh, it's making me think about some of the other things on the on the uh, calendar as well. So I hope we continue this healthier debate. Thank you all. I vote aye. Miller. Negative. Moya. I don't know. Perkins. Aye. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Powers. No. Reynoso. No. Richards. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Yes. Your time will be uh, I support Peter Cool wholeheartedly and, and trust his judgment. And now is not the time to, pit, to play petty politics. I vote uh, no. Rivera. No. Rodriguez. <clears throat> Hi, uh, no. Rose. No. Rosenthal. No. Salamanca. I vote no. Torres. I vote no. Traeger. No. Ulrich. I vote no. Valone. I vote no on the motion. Van Bramer. I vote no. Jaeger. I vote aye, and I would ask that the roll call on the original question be started from the beginning and given the superseding motion. Matthew. All right. Combo. I vote no. Speaker Johnson. I vote no. I ask the clerk for the tally on the vote on the motion. By vote of seven in the affirmative, 42 in the negative, and one abstention, motion has been defeated. Thank you. I ask for a restart of the roll call vote on all of the items that I mentioned that we're voting on as the committee on the whole today. So if we could start with Councilmember Adams again and re-begin the roll call on all of the items on our calendar. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, before we begin the vote as a point of parliamentary order, just as with a vote on general orders, for any member who wishes to vote no on any of the individual items that are being voted on for the Committee of the Whole, please state which items you wish to vote no on. Thank you. And I ask the clerk for a roll call vote. Adams. I still vote aye on all. I'm Free Samuel. Aye on all. I'm going to put it in the chat and uh, we can do it later. Ayala. Aye on all. Darren. I vote aye. And as I said before, this project is an adjustment for housing that will be designed for people who are 30, 40, 50, and 60% of the AMI. Thank you. Borelli. I vote aye on all. Brandon. I vote aye on all. Cabrera. Aye on all. Chin. I vote aye on all. 
Cohen. I don't know. Constantinidis. Uh, and I am so glad to be here to cast this vote because I have been sick for the last 24 days and my wife has been sick for just about the same amount of time with COVID. So I am so glad to be here to be able to cast an eye on all votes. So glad you're feeling better, Costa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Carnegie. Uh, I vote aye on all. Deutsch. Aye on all. Diaz. Aye on all. Drum. Aye. Eugene. Aye. Gibson. I vote aye on all. Jonai. I and all. Gordenchik. I and all. Holden. I and all. Kalos. I and all. King. I and all. Ku. I and all. Kozlowitz. Aye on all. Lantzman. Yes. Lander. Aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. I vote aye on all. Lewis. Aye on all. Mizell. Yes. Menchaca. I vote. Our mission to explain my vote. Yes. Your Thank time you. will start now, Councilmember Menchaca. Thank you so much. Uh, before I, I give my vote, I, want, I just want to say how um, how much the council is trying really hard to bring out the stated meeting into into your living room so i'm i'm really speaking right now to everyone who's watching us oh my god to our democracy and so the the work that i want to do here is really ensure that we as a community engage all these questions there are 16 land use items and what i want to really do is ensure that everyone has access to this information and so i want to thank anyone who's watching right now this is important um, not only important for the council to keep doing this work, but for you to engage. Our best will only be as best as your engagement on the ground. Uh, and so uh, with that, I'm gonna say yes and I to all of the items on the list of, uh, on, the, on the roll call today. And thank you. Thank you. Miller. Affirmative. We're not affirmative. Mm -hmm. Moya. Aye. Perkins. Affirmative. Powers. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Richards. Uh, proud to uh, vote aye. And let me just say, Queens knows how to lead the way. And I trust uh, my colleague, uh, Council Member Ku, and to my count, my colleagues, uh, Costa and Barry, uh, thank you for your leadership. Uh, you've actually gone through something. So keep the petty politics out of this. Thank you, I vote aye. Rivera. With a thank you to my colleagues for East 7th Street and Cooper Square, I vote aye. Rodriguez. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. That's maybe your time is starting. I know that for many individuals, uh, many New Yorkers, they will be, you know, looking at us on how we had the determination that we had to move on as a city. 
and that's why we are voting on this package of bill. But also, it is important to recognize that we are voting on these bills before we get into the coronavirus package because we want to move on as a nation. But at the same time, we recognize that we are living a moment that we had never thought that we're gonna be. That we are living a time where we have seen the faces of inequality in our city. The faces were more close to 80% of the people dying. They are the poorest one. The sociology and other people, they will be studying in the future why, how we got here. And the answer is very clear because we have not been taking care of the poorest one and this thing been happening under our watch. So I want to be sure that as we move on and with the leadership with Speaker Johnson and the other 50 council members, we move on on this package of bills and others. We recognize that we have failing to the poorest New Yorkers. Hoy nosotros vamos a votar este paquete de legislación, pero reconociendo que estamos haciéndolo en un momento donde la mayoría de la gente que está muriendo son los más pobres. Son los latinos, son seconds. los afroamericanos y son asiáticos. Eh, queremos reconocer que we are losing a lot of people. The coronavirus doesn't discriminate. Chief Morris is in critical condition. However, most people dying are the poorest one. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you, Inalas. Rose. Transformation of a distressed property um, that had substantial violations and is changing it into a, um, a project that will increase and improve the quality of life for the residents at uh, Belmont Place and Daily Low Terrace. I vote aye to all. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you. Who's next, Billy? Yeah, Bill, hold on, the clerk's on mute, or we can't hear him. Um, I am not muted. There you, go. there you go, Billy, now we can hear you. Okay, <laughs> Council I Member Rosenthal. I, I was not muted, okay. Permission no to problem. explain my vote? Yes. I'd like to thank, your time uh, will start now. Thank you. I'd like to thank the leadership of Turnhouse uh, on their tireless efforts to maintain ownership affordability. Their work began years ago, uh, prior even to my election, six years ago. They've endured multiple meetings uh, and, and unfortunately, purposefully uh, misinformation. Uh, there were owners who wanted to allow these apartments to return to the free market, thus depriving our district of needed affordable housing ownership. Um, I, I appreciate the tenacity of Turin House leadership. This vote is dedicated to them. And I also want to thank my colleagues for their support of affordable housing on the Upper West Side of New York City. With that, I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you, Helen. Salamanca. Uh, I vote aye on all. Torres. I vote aye. Traeger. Aye. Ulrich. I vote aye. Valone. Well. Van Bramer. Aye and all. Jaeger. I vote aye on all with the exception of intro 1854 in which I abstain. Matteo. We didn't hear his vote. Uh, Minority Leader Matteo, if you could recast your vote when you're not on mute. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Combo. I vote aye. Speaker Johnson. 
I vote aye, and I want to thank all the staff who worked really, really hard to make this possible. Uh, thank you to all of them. I'll say a little bit more about them in a little while, but I really want to thank them for uh, getting all this together for us today. I vote aye, and I ask the clerk uh, to please read the results of the roll call vote of all the items that the Committee on the Whole voted on today. All items on the agenda for the Committee of the Whole are adopted, 50 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with the exception of intro 1854, which was adopted by the Committee, 49 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. Thank you. Uh, the meeting of the Committee of the Whole is now adjourned. All council members, please remain in the Zoom conference as we will reconvene the stated meeting shortly.